my friends and viewers, this is Gabriela Stardust reporting here from the Brownfields, Texas. And right now we are getting uh, some clouds uh, in our area here and the sun is pretty, pretty much behind those clouds here right now. It is 530 and uh, like I told you, the other clip I was doing actually, uh, it was too messed up. You, you could see the second sun, you could see the object to the two o'clock position, but um, the surroundings, it was like you was looking through a tunnel and I'm not bringing things out like that. Uh, uh, that, that just brings my credibility down and it was not really uh, the best video clip. Like I said, I just placed my, my lens and my telescope um, on my camera and it was not totally, you know, over the lens. Therefore, I had these um, funny looking areas. And if I bring something out, I want that you can see the whole area, that you can see everything of it without guessing or without that they have people, you know, looking to my clips and they're saying, hey, what the heck is this? What are you showing? Is there nothing better you can bring out? So therefore, you know, I just deleted it. And today is the, what is today? The 24th, right? So hopefully with this clip here, when the sun is coming out, we can see the object as well. But sometimes, you know, and before, years ago, I did a clip, you know, of the sun behind the clouds and behind controls. And actually it did show up. It did show up the object as well, while the object was actually coming out of the clouds from behind the clouds which was actually pretty cool because this was the way I actually could show my viewers that it was not a lens flare that it was the object of the second sun one star moon dwarf exoplanet um, however you know astronomers are you know calling those uh, 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 um, objects but not planets and um, I don't want to see in my video clip what the heck and um, honestly um, a lens flare cannot appear disappear and coming back after certain days or weeks, a lens flare is not stationary. The lens flare is not hiding behind clouds. And with this clip here today, I try, I try to show you one more time what I have captured years ago, just to the other side of our sun, not the one, two o'clock, twelve o'clock position, it was ten and eleven o'clock position and it was far out away from our electric sun and you know it was a different uh, um, it was a different position then and then over the years I captured you know uh, this object again, not all the time like I said, you know if the sun is out and we're filming towards the sun, it depends on your uh, um, telescope or lens or whatever you put on your camera to capture it closer. If you do that and you film and you have a lens flare or some lens flares, they're always, you know, moving and going with your filming. And uh, when an object appears and disappears, and it's not there all the time, but appears, you know, after 15 to 18 days, or let me say maybe 25 days, it's depending on the on the orb and the traveling they're doing around the sun. Then you do know this is 
not a lens flare what you have captured this is an object who is traveling with the sun or is close to the sun in the sun's proximity and there you know this one is real I hope you know we get get a glitch of it we get a glimpse of it I hope it is coming out I hope I can catch it again and uh, to give you guys like I said another look onto this object whatever the other people saying NASA is saying or astronomers they're working as you know a, a, a federal or government astronomers and 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 physicists or whatever for sure they were working on their behalf they won't tell the truth and the real thing what is going on <laughs> because they don't want us to know so we know that by now so everything what we can capture what we can see what I can see in my pictures what I can bring out everything you know what what you see when I see it what I explain to you is this what is going on in our solar system and close to our Sun like like I mentioned it years before you know it looks like a cluster Sun and it was exactly what it is when you see all those objects very close it looks like the Sun get clustered by those objects and this is without any doubt without any question the nemesis system which were years ago found and discussed also by Carlos Ferrada with the NASA, with the scientists, with astronomers, with uh, um, military and, 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 and navy and um, the government in general and they brought it out but then suddenly they just withdraw it and we still have some people who are telling you the truth they're coming out right now they worked for those people they worked for governments as scientists and for the military and they have known it they have heard it they have seen it so you know when you bring something out and then suddenly you say oh it's not really there you know it do not exist you know and it is something well, you know it is there then you know something is going on so whatever they're saying it's not credible anymore the same with unidentified objects which were seen from pilots you know having years of experiments you know in the air as a commercial you know pilot and captain as well as these military guys from the Air Force who have seen them to hundreds and thousands so these people are very credible they're not liars they don't have no reason to lie and telling the people you know some kind of stories they are not true so I believe more in those people is in NASA or in my government I lost very much faith in them it's too much going on there and they cannot fix it anymore you know it, it, it's gone their credibility is pretty much on a low level and I do not agree with them I rather prefer to agree with those people there are working also private as astronomers you know even if they're not uh, um, professional and 
I look up those clips from people around the world they're capturing weird phenomena in our skies capturing weird unidentified flying objects objects in their skies wherever they are and this this is much more credible to me as one of those NASA workers or our government related elites but anyhow my friends um, it's, it's still bright you know we will get some storm tonight from Marco you know it is still you know a couple of hundred miles away but it is making his way towards landfall and wherever it will hit it makes a little left turn a west turn then you know we get the rest of it with Laura it will be is a totally different story because Laura is already in um, in the uh, 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 Key West areas, Naples areas, and the storm is 70 miles per hour there on the coastline. It's pretty devastating, and the storm Laura is still over 200 miles away. Just think about it. So it could have the potential, like Michael had over a year ago when it was 150 miles away from the Florida coastline or from, from uh, actually from uh, Miami and then within 24 hours it was a uh, hurricane 4 and it was just ripping to Panama City, Apalachicola and Destin and also um, Pensacola area so this could very much happen again with Laura and if Laura is coming uh, we we might be get hit a little bit harder, even, you know, 230 miles inland here. But it could be devastating as well. I don't even want to think about the coastlines. Weather said it can bring, you know, 8 to 11 feet of water and, and, and high, you know, waves. And this is uh, pretty much enough to mess up you know the beaches and um, bring devastating rainfall to the coastline of New Orleans, Louisiana, Houston, Baton Rouge and our Texas area here and then you know into our inland with tornadoes. Right now it looks like tonight Panama City, Apalachicola, this area, all the way up to Pensacola and Destin will be hit pretty much, you know, with a very bad thunderstorm in the outlayers of Laura. Marco is much smaller, is not that far out. So what they get right now is from Laura. So with that said, my friends, um, I hope I could catch something here. We still, like I said, we still have the clouds all over the area here and I don't know if there's anything I could have captured if the, car, if the star, uh, skies, excuse me, stay open so that I might be, you know, can show you the second sun again to the very right side of our electric sun or our real sun or sun simulator, whatever. And um, if I found something for sure, I will bring it out so you all stay safe, whoever lives on the coast areas and also the other people more at inland, uh, South Carolina and Virginia, wherever that will go after, after coming and make a turn. So you all stay safe, love you all, talk to you to another day. <coughs> Another time, my friends. Bye-bye.